Hi, I'm Richard Aselta and I'm a defense attorney for students. In this video, I want to talk about Title IX uh, investigations and specifically whether or not a student who is accused of a Title IX violation should meet with investigators, should give a statement. I have heard some lawyers, um, mostly criminal defense lawyers, that will make a blanket statement and say, under no such circumstances should a student ever provide a statement. I don't necessarily agree with that. I think it depends on the facts and circumstances of your particular case. I'm gonna give you an example. If there is uh, the chance of a pending criminal charge or you have already been contacted by authorities, then yes, I agree, you should not provide statements to the university because those statements could be used against you in a criminal matter. However, if that's not going to happen, and there are plenty of circumstances where that doesn't happen, then to simply say, I'm not gonna give a statement is not really the smartest thing to do. You need to evaluate your situation I can tell you, as somebody who assists students with Title IX, that if an accused student does not provide a statement, does not meet with investigators, whatever the process happens to be at your particular school, the chances of you being found responsible or the chances of that moving on to a hearing phase go up exponentially. And the reason is, is because you're not providing your account. You're not providing names of witnesses that may help you. They're only getting one side from the alleged victim. So when it's one-sided and because these cases have a low standard of proof, only a preponderance of the evidence, it doesn't take much for a university to either find you responsible, because some universities, the investigators will conclude that, or for the investigators to say, this has to go to a hearing. So again, my recommendation is before you do anything, if you are charged with a Title IX or you receive a letter saying that you're under investigation, you really need to discuss your matter with a professional, with somebody like myself, potentially with a criminal defense lawyer. It really depends, but there's no one size fits all. If you find yourself in a situation like that, please give me a call, send me an email. I'm happy to discuss the matter with you. Thank you very much.